Chapter 211. Dao Companion. Wang Wei had a thoughtful look on his face after hearing the question regarding his future actions. Although he had a plan, he did not know whether it would work until he tried it. Then, he discussed it with the other people of the clan in order to polish it and fix the details. After a few hours, the plan was finalized and only sect master Wang Tian and his son were left talking to each other through the communication formation. Anything else, Wire? Asked Wang Tian in confusion. What information did you gather on Wu Hong? Asked Wang Wei calmly. However, his words made the room quiet and the atmosphere quite awkward. Wire. Dot you have to understand the hope that the sect has placed on you. So, we have to take anything related to you with the utmost care. Especially when it comes to your future Dao companion. Father, you do not need to worry about anything as I am not a child that uses his emotions to think or act rashly. I am only asking because I also want to know about her and her motives. Wang Tian sighed a relief after hearing this. He truly feared that his actions would cause contradiction between him and his sons. When it comes to matters of the heart, he feared that his usually rational son would start to act out of emotions. And given his son's headstrong personality, if he decided to place this Wu Hong's well-being above everything, above his family and sect, then there is nothing that he could do. And this possibility is not as far-fetched as one would like to believe. During his generation, Wang Tian had many clashes with his father over his current wife. Due to the fact that they were from different factions and their competitors, it was very difficult for them to get together. If it was not that Dao Oath that they both took and promised their families that they would fight each other fairly during the Heaven Will battle, and not let the result affect their relationships, then they might never have received the blessing of their factions to be together. Well, in the end, the Oath was proven to be futile as neither one of them had the chance to fight for the Heaven Will anyway. According to the information that we received, she was born from an ordinary mortal family. Soon after that, both her parents died and she was raised by the neighbors. When she turned 15, she seemed to have discovered the inheritance of Empress Wu and started on the path of cultivation, but. But things are not as simple on the surface as they seemed, added Wang Wei. Yes, nodded Wan Tian. One look at her you can tell that she is the picture image of Empress Wu. The only difference being the temperament. So. We first theorized that she was the direct descendant of the Empress, however the idea was soon ruled out after seeing one of her battles. To be precise, the only recording of her fighting. At the supernatural realm, she easily suppressed a half-step void shattered realm cultivator. The odd thing about that battle was not her strength, but the fact her cultivation of the Empress Wu Sealing Sutra was too smooth. It was not just a matter of perfect fit with the technique, more like it was made by her personally. Wang Tian stopped in order to allow his son to digest these words, and he did so. After a few seconds, Wang Wei asked. So, you believe she is the reincarnation of Empress Wu? That is the current working theory. After all, the Empress mysteriously disappeared at the peak of her career and no one knows why. The real question is why would an eternal emperor like Empress Wu need to reincarnate? Muttered Wang Wei to himself. However, from the little information he gathered from Wu Hong the past few days, he guessed that things were not as simple as his father stated. After reigning in his thoughts, Wang Wei noticed that his father had an hesitative look on his face. If you have something else to say, you can just tell me. To be honest, if she really is the reincarnation of Empress Wu, then her strength is probably even more powerful and terrifying than both you and DTN, despite her low key appearance. And if the two of you decide to become Dao companion, then you will also have to make the same Dao oath that me and your mother made when it comes to the heaven will battle. Wang Wei nodded after hearing this, but he did not take his father's words seriously. During his talk with Wu Hong in the past few days, he had a strange feeling that her motive was just to meet and help him. He was also worried about the fact that they might have to fight for heaven will in the future, so Wang Wei talked to her about it in a roundabout way. However, the feeling he got from her was that she did not care about the heaven will, to be precise, she disdained it like it was a common item found everywhere in the streets. Although he did not did not have a definite answer regarding whether they will be competitors in the future, Wang Wei was not currently worried about this situation. After all, they have just met a few days ago. Although they seem to have a very mysterious and strange affinity to one another, as rational people, they would not act rashly when it comes to really becoming Dao companion. In this world, Dao companion and wife were not essentially the same thing. As a polygamist society, 
Cultivators in the Myriad Emperor world can have as many wives as they want, but they can only have one Tao companion. As the name implies, a Tao companion is a person that accompanies another person through their mutual pursuit of the Tao. As such, this person has to have your absolute trust, a trust that goes beyond life and death. Many cultivators do not fear death, but fear losing their Tao or path forwards. So, their Tao companion has to be responsible to protect them their own Tao, and they also have to reciprocate the act. So, not every cultivator is willing to place such a level of trust on someone else. As a matter of fact, when the early concept of Tao companion was first introduced in this world, there were many acts of betrayal between Tao companions. However, later on, Great Emperor Harmony from the Yin Moon Palace created a ceremony where both Tao companions will share their lives with one another. That way, they can support one another, and even die if their other half is gone. Kama. After reigning in his thoughts, Wang Wei asked, Father, why do I have the feeling that you did not come to this conclusion just based on the information that the shadow gathered? Sect Master Wang Tian's heart skipped a beat after hearing that question, despite the fact that his face did not change at all. He forgot that his son had very keen senses and it was rare for some things to go by him unnoticed. So, with a wry smile, he said, after reading the information, I was curious about her, so I entered the academy and went to see her personally. And? Asked Wang Wei with a smile on his face. Well, with my intuition of a swordsman, I discovered how powerful she actually was. You have your work cut out for you, son. And? Wang Wei continued to ask with a slight mocking smile on his face. Wang Tian coughed slightly, a taint of pink flashed from his cheek before disappearing. Fine, you win. She discovered me the moment I came close to her, despite the fact that I used my own domain to hide myself. However, instead of revealing me, she ignored me and pretended that I did not exist until I was forced to come out of hiding. The whole situation was quite embarrassing. Wang Tian was indeed embarrassed. As a saint realm true person and the most powerful heaven chosens of his generation, he was discovered by a supernatural realm brat. Even if she is believed to be the reincarnation of an eternal emperor, it was still an embarrassment. So, what do you think of her? Asked Wang Wei while gloating at his father's ploy. Well, she seemed very mysterious, and I could not see through her. Furthermore, I could not shirk the feeling that she knew me and your mother very well. Wang Wei's eyes squinted after hearing this. So, it is not just me who feels this way. Could she be a time traveler and future me and her are related in some way? If that is true, why did she need to go back in time? And what does Empress Wu have to do with this whole thing? It seems that I have to look for signs of her time traveling. After spending a few more minutes talking to his father, Wang Wei stopped operating the communicating array. Supreme Elder. Yes, young master. Please go set up a meeting with the higher ups of the academy for me. No problem. Chapter 212. Negotiation. After setting up the meeting with the academy, Wang Wei started thinking about the things that happened to him recently, and he was not happy. He has noticed that strange things keep happening around him, and he could not control any of it. Whether it was having heart demon tribulation twice of the things related to this book, strange and uncontrollable events keep happening around him, and the lack of information has annoyed him greatly. He felt that something beyond his comprehension and understanding is happening, and although he is related to it, he cannot do anything about it. Wang Wei does not believe that he is a control freak. Throughout his short century of living, many things have happened that were outside of prediction or controlled, his divine punishment thunder being one of the major ones. However, during those events, he could think calmly and devise the necessary plans to ensure not only his survival, but also benefit from the situation. However, recent events have made him completely clueless, and he did not like that. After thinking about these things, he then took out a talisman from his space ring. It was the one that the old beggar gave him. He had a feeling that that old beggar had an inkling of what was going on with him. However, he did not activate the token, he felt that it was not time yet. The next day, Wang Wei woke up earlier, was led by Supreme Elder Yan Chen to meet with the upper echelons of the academy. He entered a small room where he saw a few teachers sitting cross-legged on futons with an old man with long white hair and beard, he recognized this sage-like old man as the headmaster of the academy, Bai Han. The old headmaster was actually his father's greatest enemy during their generation. Even his name was in the second place on the Heavenly Tao Protection Book. After entering the room, 
Wang Wei saw a futon in the middle of the room with a small wooden table in front of it. The futon was facing all the other teachers, and was positioned at a lower level than them. As soon as he entered the room, Wang Wei felt countless powerful aura trying to intimate him. As a matter of fact, even Yan Chen was suppressed by a few other true monarchs, however, none of them cared about such a thing. Yan Chen was used to this kind of behavior as the rivalry of the Dao opening sect and the Emperor enlightening sect has been going on for an entire era. The last great emperor of the sect was during the Devil era, while the last one for the academy was at the beginning of the new emperor era. Since then, these two sects have been competing with another for countless millennia. As for Wang Wei, he did care about these people's aura. As a person who has faced the wrath of Heavenly Dao directly in Wan, he did not care about a few saints' aura. So, he took his seat in the middle and started tasting the food that they served. As for Yan Chen, he merged into the void and left the negotiation to the young sect master. Sacred son Wang Wei, what brings you to meet us today? Asked Bai Han with a gentle smile on his face. He has the look of a dotting grandpa talking to his descendants. Of course Wang Wei will not be affected by his demeanor. Forget the little stunt that these people just did to him, he did not believe that anyone who could sit at such a powerful position would be a harmless grandfather. Well, headmaster, I have run into a little problem, and I would like your help to solve it. Is that so? Did you not like the reception of our academy? If there was something that we could do to remedy the situation, please say. No, your reception was more than satisfactory. I do not think that my sect could do any better. The trouble I am having is the fact that I do not wish to place my name on the Heavenly Tao book, and I was wondering if it is possible to see the Tao tablets without doing so. Many people frowned after hearing this. A meeting took place last night after the Academy heard the request of the Tao opening sect. Many people tried to come up with a reason for such a sudden meeting, but they did not expect that the answer would be this. Do you think that our Academy would ruin our reputations in order to plot against you? Suddenly asked one teacher. Of course not. I believe in the academy's reputation. After all, both my father, mother, and grandparents had their name on the book. Then, are you afraid to compete with the other geniuses? Asked the same teacher with a sneer in his voice. The answer is still no, replied Wang Wei calmly. If the academy wishes, I am more than happy to fight in the trial, but I will not place my name on that book. All I ask for is to be able to see the Tao tablets without doing so. Sacred son, said Bai Han preventing the previous teacher from speaking any further. Excuse us for asking, but we need to have some kind of explanation for your sudden action before we can consider your proposition. Old Fox, still trying to get some information from me while not giving me any promises, secretly thought Wang Wei while sipping his tea. Well, as you know, after my encounter with Divine Punishment Thunder, me and Heavenly Tao do not have the best of relationships. So, I would prefer not to place my safety in its hands. The teachers nodded after hearing this. Although they guessed that the real situation was probably more complex than stated, they could still understand the reason behind it. That is given that this sacred son was telling the truth. As for Bai Han, he had a frown on his face as he secretly thought to himself. Wait. This Wang Wei has a terrible relationship with Heavenly Tao, and he seemed to want to cultivate the Tao of Fate. Could he be an outlaw? I remember my old man mentioning something about this but it was so long ago and I was not really paying attention. However, if this Wang Wei is an outlaw, his level of threat has greatly reduced, and less. Sacred son, said Bai Han, who secretly activated a talisman without anyone noticing, even the true monarchs in the room. Unfortunately, we cannot accept your conditions. According to the academy rules, all the top 30 heaven chosens must place their names on the heavenly Tao book before seeing the Tao tablets. Wang Wei was not surprised after hearing this. After all, the boss involved the academy's chi luck. However, he was not about to give up so easily. That's fine as well. How about a trade then? Replied Wang Wei, still with a calm look on his face. Please, elaborate, replied Bai Han, still with a gentle smile on his voice. I will use the resources of the Dao opening sect in exchange for a token to enter the secret realm where the tablets are. If I remember correctly, the academy has a few spots for the legacy disciples. According to the information Wang Wei has, the academy is divided into four categories, outer disciples, inner disciples, core disciples, legacy disciples, and true disciples. 
The legacy disciples are similar to the contemporary sacred son of the Tao opening sect, while the true disciple is the same as a sacred son, and Lin Fan currently holds that position. I'm afraid that the answer would still be negative. Are you sure about this, headmaster? As the sacred son of this generation, I have the utmost support of the sect, and you guys can literally ask for anything, besides emperor artifacts. However, emperor level herbs, or, or talismans are not off limits, and even the rare innate treasures that have survived from the void era, my sect is willing to hand over for this opportunity. Although your academy is the second most powerful faction of the world, it does not change the fact that your history only goes as far as the middle emperor era, so I doubt you guys have any innate treasures. The room became quiet after the teachers heard Wang Wei's words. Many of them involuntarily swallowed their saliva, and greed could be seen emanating from these people's eyes. As for the headmaster, although his heart skipped a beat, he quickly calmed himself down. Then, with the same gentle smile, he answered, Thank you for the offer, but the answer is still the same. Is that so? Headmaster, can you easily make such a heavy and important decision without consulting the other teachers? Asked Wang Wei calmly. Little Fox, are you trying to use this opportunity to create discord among the teachers of the academy? Secretly thought Bai Han, despite his gentle smile still on his face. As a matter of fact, I can. Yes, we support the headmaster. The headmaster has such right and power. Those teachers are not stupid and they quickly recovered from their greed. Instantly, they knew what Wang Wei was trying to do. That's unfortunate, said Wang Wei with a little sorrow on his face. However, no one could tell whether he was telling the truth or not. Since our negotiations have proven futile, then there is nothing more to talk about. Thank you for the tea. After saying that, he cupped his hand together and saluted everyone in the room, then he left calmly. After Wang Wei left the meeting room, he used his divine sense to talk to true monarch Yan Chen. How did our backup plans go? I'm sorry young master, it was also a failure. Chapter 213 Old business. Inside the meeting of the upper echelons of the academy. After waiting for Wang Wei to leave, they started their conversations about the events that just took place. Headmaster. Why did you not accept this deal? From what we know about Wang Wei, he most likely was telling the truth, said one teacher. Yes, the Tao opening sect finally found a chance to break the Nine Emperor curse, so they would not easily let go of such an opportunity. Bai Han was calm during the entire process, but he secretly sighed inside. These people let greed clutter their visions. Let me ask all of you, said Bai slowly. If Wang Wei does not have the opportunity to enter the secret realm of the Tao tablets, who would benefit the most? The other teachers were first puzzled by the sudden question. They began to think calmly about the question. They still believe in the strategic vision of the headmaster. As a born sage, wisdom was one his main ability or gift. One teacher's eyes suddenly lighted up and she said. It's the other heaven chosens. Without being able to see the tablets, the other heaven chosens will finally have an advantage over him and be able to either make up the gap with him, and even surpass him. That is correct, replied Bai Han. You guys need to see things from a long-term perspective. Even if we were to agree with his proposition, what do you think would happen if one day, this Wang Wei manages to prove the Tao and become emperor? The room became quiet as most of the teachers had an ugly look on their faces. They were not stupid, since the headmaster already laid out everything in front of them. He could just ask us to return or take back all the resources he previously gave us. Or maybe, even worse, replied one teacher. That is correct. By refusing his offer, we have effectively weakened his strength, while strengthening our chances of cultivating a great emperor. As for things like emperor materials or innate treasures, as long as Lin Fan can prove the Tao and become an eternal emperor, everything is possible for the academy. All the teachers then started to praise the headmaster for his strategic vision and abilities. As for Bai Han, he sighed as he thought to himself. Wang Wei has proven to be even more formidable than previously estimated. Given how calmly he walked out of this meeting, I do not think that he will give up so easily. Lin Fan is my last chance and I cannot afford to lose this opportunity. Sight. I should not be so stubborn and listen to my father. Meanwhile, Wang Wei rushed back to his own manor after exiting the meeting room. Supreme Elder, what do you mean that our plan failed? Asked Wang Wei with a frown on his face. Well, last night, 
The sect used its power to bribe a few of the legacy disciples in order to acquire their token that grants them access to 3,000 Dao tablets. While all of them resisted betraying the academy and refused to hand their tokens for any price, we used the young master's plan to arrest their families and threaten them. So, you should have had the token in your hand last night, right? So what went wrong? Asked Wang Wei. The only reason that Wang Wei went to attend today's meeting was just to acquire a legal way to enter the secret realm. After all, what he did could be considered very sensitive, thus leading to war between the two most powerful factions of this world. Although Wang Wei knew that the sect would back him up without hesitation if he started a war, he did not want to result in such a measure yet, unless it was truly necessary. Well, during the meeting, I received secret information that the academy just revoked the status of legacy disciples of all the people who accepted our exchange, and all the other ones were also warned. I wanted to rush to check the situation, but I could not leave you alone, and the other true monarchs of the academy were watching my actions very closely. Tisk. That old fox Bai Han must have noticed something during the meeting. The ancients were right. There are many heroes in the word and none of them should be underestimated, replied Wang Wei with a sour mood. Young master, what should we do next? Do we start preparing for war? Not yet. However, it seems that I have to resort to my old business of fishing. Hopefully, things will go as planned and we do not have to resort to drastic means. After a brief chat with the Supreme Elder, Wang Wei called both Yan Liling and Li Jun for a meeting. Big brother. Why did you call us right before the beginning of the trial? Asked Li Jun with a confused look on his face, he had a feeling that something important happened. Well, due to recent events, I will not take part in this trial. Big brother, is there something wrong? Wang Wei nodded before explaining the situation. Now that both of them had anti-divination origin artifacts on them, he could tell them some secrets as he trusted them. Now that I am not participating in the trial, I need you guys to get one of the 30 spots no matter what? Big brother, do you want us to get one the spot for you? No problem, you can count on me, replied Li Jun with a smile. Big brother, you do not need to worry. According to the rules of the trial, four spots are dedicated to the champions of profession. Whether it was alchemy, talisman, array, refinement, as long as a cultivator is the final winner in their competition category he or she can automatically get a spot. With my talent in alchemy, I should be able to win easily, added Yan Liling. Wang Wei nodded in satisfaction before saying, although I have another plan in place, but if things do not turn out how I expected, then you guys are my last hope. He then looked at Yan Liling and held both his hands outward. Two flames appeared in each of his hands. One was black, while the other was white. Heavenly destruction flame and cleansing purifying flame gasped Yan Liling in shock. These two flames were powerful flames that existed between heaven and earth. She remembered that Wang Wei had to experience these two flames as a form of heavenly tribulations. Now, he seemed able to control them. Yes. Can any of these flames help you with your alchemy? The heavenly destruction flame is only used for destruction, but the cleansing purifying flame is different. It can not only purify sins from the soul and body, it can also purify materials for pill concocting thus increasing the grade and quality of any pill. However, is there a problem? Asked Wang Wei. Well the alchemy competition is three days from now, so it is impossible for me to refine such a powerful flame in such a short period of time. Wang Wei sighed out loud before saying, you were right. How could I forget something so simple? Yan Liling lowered her eyebrow. She has never seen her big brother so frustrated before, to the point of losing his demeanor. She could guess that it was because a lot of things happened in a short period of time, given him little time to truly calm down and think. No matter the reason, she did not like it, she did not like seeing him like that. After biting her lower lips for a brief moment, Yan Liling said, there may be a way. Oh, how? By using the same method that Big Brother used to temper his body during his heavenly tribulations. What do you mean by that? Asked Li Jun with a deep frown on his face. Instead of me just refining the fire, I will fuse it with my soul. Using a process of constant destruction and regeneration, I can rapidly fuse with the flame in just one day. Li Jun frown became deeper after hearing this. This sounds like a terrible idea. Without having Big Brother's regenerative powers, your soul would be completely purified instantly. Liling, Li Jun is right. Additionally, you already said that with your talent, it is guaranteed that you will win. 
So, there is no need to go so far. However, Yan Liling shook her head. It's just like you said in the true dragon meeting. Only people that can be cruel to themselves can reach the top of the cultivation world. If I succeed in doing so, not only will my strength increase dramatically, my ability as an alchemist will reach a very high level. As for the problem of healing, there are pills that can keep my soul alive, and with a little help from great uncle Yan Chen, I should be fine. Wang Wei looked deep into her eyes, and nodded after seeing her firm determination. Following which, a terrible shrill could be heard coming from Wang Wei's room, and it lasted the whole night. Luckily, there were formations that prevented the sound from coming out of the room. The next day, Wang Wei and his team headed to the location of the trial. As for Yan Liling, although she looked paler than a ghost that was actually scared of itself, she also had a look of confidence on her face. The odd thing was that Li Jun also looked pale. The trial took place in a very vast venue. There was a stage in the middle, while a large stand surrounded it. Of course the trial would not take place there, but in a separate world created by the academy. As for Wang Wei, he was sitting in the VIP section, which was in fact a booth that was floating in the air. And he was not the only one. There were many other booths floating in the air. Most of them looked like very well decorated wooden houses with different ink brush drawings. Wu Hong was sitting next to Wang Wei after she was invited by him. After all the participants arrived on the stage, Headmaster Bai Han appeared somewhere in the sky to commence the trial. Ladies and gentlemen, the Academy has some very good news to announce. Taking into account that this generation is a glorious age, we have decided to remove the four quotas given to the champions of the professional trial. Chapter 214. Chess Players. Bai Han looked at the shocked and excited look of the participants and continued to explain. For this generation's trial, we have decided to focus on strength and power above everything else, so all the teachers have voted that the last four spots that were previously guaranteed to these champions would be added to four other heaven chosens instead. Although we are sorry for the four champions of this year's professional competition, the academy will do its best to repay all of you. Many people became excited after hearing this as this new rule increased the chance of them acquiring a spot. As for the alchemist and array master, they were all shocked and angered. They were always considered the most respected professions of this world. Everywhere they went, people always received them with the utmost respects. Rules were always modified to be in their favors, but now. The ones that were the most surprised by this new change in rules were the alchemists. As they hold the most power in this world. With the ability to create pills that can save people's lives, increased cultivation level, and even increased talents, they have received the utmost respect and adoration in society. However, now, the Emperor Enlightening Academy is telling them that their expertise was not needed in this generation, only strength and power is valued by them. So, they became angry out of shame, but they did not know what to do, it's not like they could challenge the Academy. Meanwhile, back in the floating booth that Wang Wei was in, he instantly pulverized the cup of tea that was in his hand after hearing what Bai Han said, then he looked deeply at the headmaster. Even so far away, Bai Han felt a powerful gaze locking on his position. It was like a desolate beast was staring at its prey, and he could guess who that gaze belonged to, but he ignored it. Meanwhile, Wang Wei took a deep breath to calm himself down, as he took a talisman from his space ring as he received a communication invite. Big brother, what should I do now? The voice at the end of the talisman was actually Yan Liling. Wang Wei's mind quickly moved at a rapid speed as he thought of a possible plan, then he said, I need you to make a public scene, then fly away and return to your residence. That's it. That's it. After cutting off the communication, Yan Liling took a while for a brief moment to gather her thoughts, then she snorted out loud. However, this was not just a regular snort, but one where she used her origin essence with. So, all the millions of people in the arena and the ones that were watching from formations heard her. To be precise, the majority of cultivators in the world heard her. More importantly, Yan Liling's snort actually interrupted Bai Han's speech, bringing everyone's attention to the person who interrupted the headmaster of the Enlightening Emperor Academy from speaking. When everyone's gaze was on Yan Liling, she did not show any panic or change of expression. Well, at least not on the surface. She secretly regulated her breath before saying, since the academy does not respect us professionals, then that means we are not welcome here, so I'll take my leave. Her voice was as loud if not louder than her previous snort. After expressing her opinions, 
Yan Liling flew away in front of countless cultivators watching her, she did not look back for even a moment. All the people were first baffled by her actions, but soon all the professionals' eyes lit up, and they followed her. One by one, they flew away and left the venue. All the cultivators attending the event watched as all the alchemists, talisman makers, array masters and refiners flew away one by one. Of course not all of them left. The ones who stayed were the ones from a low background and needed the resources of this event to further their study. Meanwhile Bai Hai tried very hard to control his facial expression as he knew that he was in public. However, the bulging vein on his forehead that was constantly throbbing proved that he was not as calm as he looked. He realized that he might have made a mistake to target the Dao opening sect by changing the rules, and he had a feeling that things were not going to end so easily. And he was right. After Yan Liling and all the other professionals left, Wang Wei looked at Bai Han that was floating in the air with a sneer on his mouth. Then, he took out another talisman and contacted someone. Father, I need you to use all the power of the shadow and spread a rumor throughout the entire myriad emperor world that the Enlightening Academy does not respect and value professionals, that they secretly look down on them. After that, try to use this event to unite the Alchemy Association, the Talisman Association and all the other professional association in the southern continent to boycott the Academy and cut off their resources. Also, you can also try to contact the herd raising valley. They have always complained about the fact that beast taming was not a more respectable profession. Tell them that this might be their chance to raise their positions in front of the world. No problem, replied Wang Tian with an obvious joyous mood in his voice. After cutting off the communication, Wang Wei looked at the people of the academy that had an ugly look on their faces, then he sneered before muttering to himself. The only reason your academy can hold the heaven chosen selection trial. Every generation is because of that damn book, the tablets, and your reputation. Although I cannot do anything to the previous two, I can still ruin your reputation. After muttering these words, he took a deep and long breath, then removed the gloomy look on his face before putting a bright and sunny smile. He looked at the quiet Wu Hong next to him. I apologize for my previous behavior. As you can see, I let my emotions get the base of me. There is no need to act so formal around me, that's not like you. However, aren't you afraid that your actions will start a war? Replied Wu Hong with her usual calm demeanor. To be precise, I'm trying to prevent a war from happening, replied Wang Wei calmly. What do you mean? Ever since the Emperor Enlightening Academy cultivated their eight great emperors, the Dao opening sect has been pondering whether to start an Emperor Dao war. Many of the sleeping Dao ancestors and immortal venerables are in favor of starting a fight, and just need the perfect time and excuse. With me showing them hope of breaking the Nine Emperor curse and the recent events, it is the perfect opportunity to start a war to the death. Wu Hong nodded as she understood the reason behind such a decision. With only one less emperor before reaching their level, the Dao opening sect will not let anyone easily challenge their status. Having nine emperors is not just a symbol of being the most powerful sect of the world, but also brings a great deal of qi luck to the sect. This is the reason that every generation, a powerful genius will be born in the Dao opening sect. It is a manifestation of their sect's luck or destiny. That's very noble of you and all, replied Wu Hong. But should you be telling me these kinds of secrets of your sect? Wang Wei looked her straight in the eyes after hearing her question. Look me in the eyes and tell me you did not already know such a thing. Wu Hong did not flinch or budge due to his intent gaze, nor did she evade it. I did not know. Although I know many secrets, secrets that no one should know, but it does not mean that I am all-knowing. After gazing deep into her black eyes for a few seconds, Wang Wei nodded as he believed her. In the past few days, he also learned a few things about Wu Hong. For example, she does not seem to lie to him. When he asked her something of the sensitive nature, she would either not respond, or answer him in a vague or cryptic manner like the mumble of the prophets from his past life, even this life. However, she does not seem to lie to him. Of course this could be her having the ability to even trick his powerful senses, after all, her mystery has proven that she may have such capability. Nevertheless, Wang Wei decided to trust her. Since he has decided to one day make her his Tao companion, he needs to have a certain level of faith, a certain level of trust. After all, love requires a certain level of blind trust. And if he is proven to be wrong about her, then Wang Wei will consider the experience a learning one. He will acknowledge that he judged the wrong person, and try to learn by experience, 
or maybe just shut his heart for the rest of his life. While he was lost in his thought, a powerful voice ringed throughout the entire arena. Wang Wei, you coward, Chapter 215, Old Business. Wang Wei removed his gaze from Wu Hong and looked at the person who called him out in front of trillions of people. As it turns out, it was Ji Song's doing. Well, this should be expected, thought Wang Wei to himself. The, Heaven Chosen Selection Trial, was a very important event attended or watched by countless people. For example, there were approximately 15 billion people participating in the trial, and a few of them actually came from the lower realm. More importantly, most of the cultivators in the world are currently watching this event. That alone is a few trillions people. This is one of the reasons that many people actually wanted to participate in the trial. The opportunity for fame and glory. The opportunity to be worshipped by billions of people. The opportunity to display might and prowess to the world, to increase reputation. In the cultivating world, reputation is not just about being famous or having a certain credibility. Reputation can transform into influence. Influence will then transform into aura. Aura that can be used either in battle or to intimidate the opponent. Aura that can increase chances of breaking through a cultivation bottleneck. More importantly, reputation can increase a person's chi luck or destiny. Upon feeling Wan Wei's gaze on him, Ji Song, who was now three meters tall and standing in the arena, said. I have waited for more than five decades to have a rematch with you, and now, you are not participating in the tournament. Are you scared to fight me again? His voice was loud and echoed throughout the large stadium that easily housed a few billion people, not to mention the viewers. Wang Wei looked at him for a brief moment before saying out loud just like him. Who are you again? Ji Song's face instantly became ugly before roaring. What do you mean by this? Oh, sorry about that, I didn't mean to be rude, but I have a disease where I can never remember someone that has been utterly decimated by me more than once replied Wang Wei with a very nonchalant look on his face. Meanwhile, many of the audience members gasped after hearing this, then they began to pay more attention. This is the reason that they decided to attend this kind of tournament. To watch these heaven chosens tear each other apart, both physically and mentally. Enough with your mockery, replied Ji Song. Are you going to participate in this tournament and fight me? I am more interested in why you are so interested in fighting me? Isn't it normal for people at our level to want to fight powerful opponents? Let alone me and you already have a vendetta? Most scenarios would be true, replied Wang Wei calmly. But why do I feel like these are not your real motives? Your insistence on fighting is almost like, you're trying to prove something to yourself. Of course I am. I am trying to prove that a few failures does not represent anything on the path of emperor. As a true heaven chosen, I can always rise up again. After a brief moment of silence, Wang Wei suddenly said, I am becoming your heart demon, aren't I? Although Ji Song's face remained the same, his heart secretly skipped a beat as Wang Wei was right. After his second defeat during the Qi Luck trial, it took a while to recuperate both physically and mentally, and even then, he did not fully recover. He soon realized that Wang Wei was slowly becoming his heat demon, and if he did not defeat him or find another way to get rid of it, he would never be able to break through the primordial spirit realm. Are you going to fight with me or not? Said Ji Song, completely ignoring the question. Why should I? Replied Wang Wei. Why should I help my enemy get over his own problem? Ji Song furrowed his brow as he thought for a brief moment, then a smirk appeared in his mouth. With your militant blood, you are not the kind of person that easily refuses a challenge for such a petty reason. Based on your previous actions and words, I can analyze that you are back to your old business, bait your enemy into doing the things you want, then hook them. I do not have time to waste with you, so state what you want this time in exchange for my challenge. Wang Wei squinted his eyes after hearing Ji Song's words, then he smiled slightly. He realized that it is true when they say that only your enemy knows you better than yourself. What I want is your spot to enter the secret realm of the Tao tablet in exchange for a battle after the tournament. This time however, Wang Wei used his divine sense to communicate with Ji Song, preventing anyone from hearing their discussions. Ji Song had a frown on his face as he was quite surprised by this deal. He thought that Wang Wei would demand something entirely different, like his cultivation techniques or something similar. He was prepared to negotiate strongly in order to prevent himself from being taken advantage of. After pandering for a while, he replied through divine sense, No problem, but if I win this battle, I want your blood essence. 
Wang Wei gave a look, as he could guess what he was thinking. Ji Song probably wanted to use this opportunity to avenge what he did to him back in the Spirit Road trial, then also use his blood essence to increase his strength. Deal, replied Wang Wei out loud, he was more than confident of his strength. Ji Song nodded, then closed his eyes to concentrate on the next tournament. Wang Wei was not his only enemy. Although the members of the audience did not know the exact conditions for their deals, they were just excited at the prospect of these two titans fighting. As for the people of the Emperor Enlightening Academy, some of them probably guessed the deal that Ji Song made, and they turned ugly. They have done so much to prevent him from gaining access to the Tao tablets, and now he might still have a chance. HMPH, things will not end so easily, secretly thought Headmaster Bai Han, then he wanted to continue the opening ceremony. However, another person came to interrupt again. This time it was the young sword sage of the sword casting villa, Jian Wushuang. Sacred son Wang Wei, since you will not participate in this tournament, I will also like to take this opportunity to invite you to a challenge. Oh, from what I remember, me and you do not have any kind of grudge or vendetta, replied Wang Wei, a little surprised. You and I may not, but our sect does. You should be aware of what happened in the last generation between your father and my casting sword villa. Wang Wei then understood the reason behind Jian Wushuang's sudden challenge. In the last generation, his father was called by all cultivators as the most powerful swordsman and earned the title of Absolute Cut Sword God. Many people, especially sword cultivators would not allow anyone to have such a title. The title of sword god is the second highest title that a cultivator of sword Dao can receive, second only to sword emperor. On top of that, not all great emperors who used a sword can claim the title of sword emperor. They have to prove the Dao with the sword in order to get that title. Additionally, the sword god title was not given to just anyone. Some sword emperors did not have that title during their rise, as long as an emperor proved the Tao with the sword, he could earn the title of sword emperor. But the sword god has to be the best and most powerful sword cultivator of countless generations of sword cultivators that came before. They have to reach the peak of swordsmanship and go beyond it, and they have to prove that their sword Tao is the best of all the sword cultivators in the world. So, people did not like when the title of sword god was placed on Wang Tian. In order to prove these people wrong, Wang Tian left the sect to travel the world and challenge all the sword cultivators. He was unstoppable. No matter who challenged him, he would use his supreme Tao of absolute cut and defeat them. In the end, the sword casting villa, who is considered the holy place of sword cultivators in the myriad emperor word, stepped in to stop Wang Tian. But they also failed, even more miserably. Wang Tian traveled to the eastern azure dragon continent and fought with all the people of the villa and defeated them all on the way of the sword. That included Jian Wushuang's master, Jian Yi, who is the current leader of the sword casting villa. What most people do not know was that after your father defeated my master in the way of the sword, he even challenged some of the sleeping ancestors in Wan. Although they were way more powerful than him in terms of cultivation, when it comes to how pure his sword will and Dao was, no one was his match. So, today, I am issuing a challenge in order to restore their honor. Chapter 216. Generational Conflict. Wang Wei was a little surprised that Jian Wushuang would expose such secrets out loud in front of so many people. Usually, most sects would hide their embarrassment or dirty secrets to the world. But, after thinking about it for a while, he could guess the reason. Most sword cultivators are usually straightforward in their personality. They do not care about outsider perception of them. All they care about is the pursuit of the sword Dao and their honor. Although a major defeat at another swordsman can be considered dishonorable, it does not really matter if that person truly earned their respect just like Wang Wei's father did. After a brief pause of contemplation, Wang Wei then said, Young sword sage Jian Wushuang, I am afraid that I cannot accept your challenge. Jian Wushuang frowned after hearing this, then he continued, Sacred son, if you need to place a bet with conditions like Crown Prince Ji Song, I am more than happy to oblige. However, Wang Wei just shook his head before answering. This is not about any conditions or bet. If you want to challenge me to a duel, I will be more than happy to battle with you. However, if you want to challenge me in the way of the sword, I am afraid I have to disappoint you as I am not a swordsman. Jian Wushuang's frown did ease after hearing this as he could understand Wang Wei's meaning since he wanted to clear the shame from the last generation and get the sect's face back when it comes to the way of the sword, 
it does not make sense to win over a non-swordsman. Jian Wushuang's victory over Wang Wei would just be a victory of one heaven chosen to another, not the sword-casting villa's Dao of Sword over the Dao opening sect's Dao of Sword. While Jian Wushuang was thinking, one of his senior brothers in the Divine Body Realm suddenly stepped up and screamed, If you are scared to fight, then say so. Do not use any excuse. The entire arena once again went into shock as everyone quieted down and waited for something to happen, and they did not have to wait long. Wang Wei's gaze turned to the person who just spoke. Then, a powerful and terrifying aura enveloped the arena. This aura was like an ancient desolate beast or primordial god that roamed the world in ancient times. This primordial being used to hunt dragons and phoenixes for both his breakfast and dinner. He used the stars as his snack, and heaven and earth as his dessert. He was a predator at the top of the food chain. After that aura enveloped that senior brother, he coughed up a big mouthful of blood, then he fell to the ground and passed out. If it was not Jian Wushuang who used his sword intent to protect him, this guy would have died on the spot. Jian Wushuang looked at his senior brother on the ground and sighed. He knew that many of the disciples of the sword-casting villa were indoctrinated to treat the Dao opening sect as their enemy in this generation. This was a way to motivate them to train properly in order to regain the sect's face from what happened in the last generation. So, many of them have developed deep hatred for the people of the Dao opening sect, and Jian Wushuang was aware of this. Nevertheless, he always warned them to treat Wang Wei with the proper respect as he was a truly powerful heaven chosen and deserved such a thing. Fearing that something similar might happen back in the True Dragon Inn, he warned his fellow disciples to be on their best behavior. However, this particular one always tried to contradict him and refused to listen to him. This was the reason he did not bring him to the True Dragon Inn meeting. After using his divine sense to check that this person was all right, Jian Wushuang ignored him before asking, Sacred son, how do you suppose we deal with our contradictions? Simple, replied Wang Wei. Wait until you reach the same realm as my father, then go challenge him. That way, he cannot use the excuse that you are a member of the younger generation to refuse your challenge. If anyone could see Wang Wei's face right now, they would see a gleeful smirk and a sneer. Of course the reason for that was that he did not want to deal with the trouble that his father caused. He knew that his father had probably offended a lot of people in his generation. His actions were telling these people that do not come with me with your problems, but go directly to the source. Wu Hong chuckled after seeing the face that Wang Wei was making, reminding him that he was not alone in the room. Although he was a little embarrassed that the girl he was trying to court saw this particular nasty side of him, his face was thick enough to ignore such a thing and pretend that nothing actually happened. Meanwhile, back in the sect, Wang Tian had veins popping up his forehead as his mouth kept twitching. He cannot believe that his son sold him out like that. He remembered that in his generation, he had to deal with some of his father's enemies that tried to go after him for revenge. Wang Tian sighed after watching what his son did. What made more angry was not his actions, but the fact that he did not think of such a method during his time. It would have saved him a lot of trouble. He then looked at his wife who was laughing herself out to the point of being uncontrollable. What are you laughing at? said Wang Tian. His message is for your enemies as well. Unlike you, most if not all my enemies have already taken a vacation to samsara, so I have nothing to worry about, replied Yu Yan after taking a great deal of effort to calm herself down. Back to the Emperor Enlightening Academy. Jian Wushuang nodded to Wang Wei to acknowledge his idea, then did not say anything else besides telling another of his fellow disciples to take care of the person that was injured. Meanwhile, most of the audiences were still shocked by that powerful aura that emanated from Wang Wei's body. That aura actually came from his fleshly body. After all, the purpose of the ancient desolate body refining scripture is to imitate the ancient primordial god that is sleeping in the blood earth forbidden land. Headmaster Bai Han, who saw that there were no further disruption, continued the entrance ceremony, thus waking everyone from the dread most of them felt from Wang Wei's aura. Inside his booth, Wang Wei suddenly coughed a big mouthful of blood all over the table in front of him. He looked at the blood and frowned, then he went to clean up the trace on the corner of his mouth. However, Wu Hong was ahead of him and took out a silk piece of rag and wiped it for him. You need to ease up on the gravity training, she said while helping him clean up. The reason she said these words was because in order to train his internal organs, Wang Wei had a powerful gravity array placed on his clothes, 
thus always being in a state of cultivation. This has started ever since his battle with Han Li. I can't help it. Recently, I realized that I have been a little too arrogant and started to take things easy on myself, replied Wang Wei. Is it because of DTN? Wang Wei was silent for a while, then he answered. Yes. After meeting him, I have a feeling that if I do not push myself beyond my limits and get more powerful as soon as possible, then I will be in serious danger, even before the heaven will battle. It is good to push yourself, but you also have to know when to stop. Don't worry, I have a very powerful regenerative ability. I do not need to warn you that if you push yourself too much, then your healing ability will start absorbing your lifespan to make up for it. Wang Wei knew about this, but his plan was to use an abundance of resources that provide life force to continue his training. After Wu Hong said these words, she placed her hand on Wang Wei's back, then countless runes appeared from her hand and entered his body. Immediately afterwards, he felt all his pain were gone. He felt refreshed and rejuvenated. After taking a deep moment to feel the changes in his body, he realized what Wu Hong had done. She had sealed away all his pain and injuries, then removed them. Worthy of Empress Wu Sealing Sutra. A technique said to be able to seal everything between heaven and earth, secretly thought Wang Wei. Then, his eyes lit up and he said. Maybe you can help me with my current problem. Chapter 217, Non-Seated Players. Help? How can I help you? Asked Wu Hong. I have been trying to find a way to create a way to refine divine punishment thunder, but it has proven to be quite difficult. And maybe your ability can help me, replied Wang Wei. Divine punishment thunder? That thing is at the level of Dao Law and you want to refine it? Asked Wu Hong in doubt. Dao Law? What is that? Asked Wang Wei with a look of confusion on his face. Ask your father, replied Wu Hong. So many secrets, muttered Wang Wei to himself. Anyway, I think instead of creating a method to refine it, which would take me a lot of time, it is better if you could seal the thunder inside my body, then allow some power of it to slowly release in order to temper my body. Wu Hong pondered for a brief moment, then replied back, I can do that, but you'll have to make sure that this power is not released to your organs until you finish tempering them. Wang Wei nodded as he also agreed with her. His organs were still in the process of being tempered and were very fragile, so they would not be able to withstand such a tremendous amount of power such as divine punishment thunder. After making this plan, both Wang Wei and Wu Hong secretly left, deciding to not further waste their time with the trial, tournament. Meanwhile, inside the D family booth that was also floating in the air around the stadium, DTN was holding a crescent-shaped broken jade pendant in his hand, he looked at it with love, remembrance, and sadness. Then, a firm determination could be seen in his eyes. While being distracted by the jade, someone knocked on the door. With a wave of his thought, the pendant disappeared from his hand, then he said with a harsh and cold voice, Come in. Soon, a beautiful lady entered the room. She had long black hair, had a blue hanfu on and no makeup on. Her natural lip was petite, but also red and luscious making any man fascinated with and woman very envious. This girl's name was Di Jia and she was DTN's shadow. After entering the room, DTN took a talisman from her, but he did not even give a single glance. It was as if to him, it did not matter how beautiful a woman was, they were all skeletons with flesh. Di Jia sighed after seeing this, but she was used to it after so many years, she has long accepted her fate. As for DTN, he read the information he just received, which was about Wang Wei. Through this new information, he learned that Wang Wei had planned to participate in the tournament for a long time, but suddenly changed his mind two days ago. In the information he received, he even knew that the reason that Wang Wei changed his mind was because of his feelings towards the Heavenly Tao Protection Book. Instinctive fear or rejection of Heavenly Tao, plus his cultivation of the Tao of Fate, secretly thought DTN. Could he be an outlaw? If that is the case, my plan can be slightly modified, and I will not have to worry about him so much, however. After reviewing the information and modify his plan, he looked in the direction of the Tao opening sex booth, sneered before muttering. No one can stop me this time. No matter what, I will be the one proving the Tao in this generation. After that, he finally looked at Di Jia and asked. Any information about this Wu Hong? No, young master, replied Di Jia hurriedly. Except for the rumor that she was either the descendant of Empress Wu or her reincarnation, no news can be found. 
DTN frowned as he started to think. Even the sleepers could not find any information about her. I did not feel any power of reincarnation from her, so unless her power is so great that she can even hide from me, this theory is unlikely. This woman might become an uncontrollable variable, and I do not like that. My first instinct is to get rid of her, but I have a feeling that things might be more complicated than seen on the surface, so let's observe for a while. After waking up from his thoughts, DTN waved to dismiss Dija and focused on watching the tournament. Although he did not place any of these people in his eyes, except for Wang Wei that he considered a minor nuisance, he will still watch them in order to better learn about their powers and abilities. He did not like variables outside his calculations. While all of these secret spying, schemes, and calculations were going on, the Heaven Chosen Selection Trial had already started. To be precise, the preliminary rounds started. The preliminary rounds or elimination round is simply a slaughter fest. All the 10 billion participants will be teleported to a world belonging to the Emperor Enlightening Academy. In this world, there are a few cities scattered around, and the participants have to defend against Slaughter Devil Beast. These beasts are somewhat similar to demonic beasts, but more feasts. For once, they did not originate from the myriad Emperor world, but from the Nine Devil God world, which once invaded this world and created the Devil Era. These beasts have no emotions, no fears, and no intelligence. All they know is endless slaughter. In the first round of the elimination round, the participants have to survive rounds after rounds of attack against hordes of these beasts. The number of them was essentially endless as the academy just used that world to breed them. When the number of participants dropped from 10 billion to half a billion, then the second round began. In the second round, the participants are allowed to kill each other. The second will not stop until there are only 100, OO participants, then the third round. In the third round, all the Heaven Chosens who were on the list released by the Heaven Mystery Pavilion can begin to participate. Due to the fact that they were considered seated players, they did not have to go through the first two rounds, unless they wanted to. In this case, no one chose to do so, thus after entering the secret world, all the seated players went to their residences and started cultivating. The trial will actually take a few years, so they did not want to waste time. Inside the booth of the Emperor Enlightening Academy, Bai Han was having a conversation with many teachers. So, are there any new people to look out for during this tournament? asked one teacher. Yes, there are. First there is the number 7, Boundless Void Physique from the Worshipping Dao Academy. Some of the teachers were surprised, the one said, it seemed that the guys in the Worshipping Dao Academy hid their cards really well. They probably wanted to use this opportunity to build the momentum for their heaven chosens, and also blindside us. Well, as an academy with five great emperors, they can be considered our greatest competitor when it comes to the other academies. The teachers nodded, then someone continued to explain. The number eight, nine yin physique showed. She is from the lower realm and is also participating in the elimination realm. The number eight physique was actually a weird one as there are two parts to this physique. If a man is born with it, it will turn into nine yang physique, which is based on the principle of extreme yang. If a woman has it, then it will be the nine yin physique, based on the principle of extreme yin. Then there is the very rare occasion when someone is born with a balance of yin and yang, thus also born with both the nine yin and nine yang physique. A mutation would occur where such a physique is said to be even more powerful than the yin yang eyes, and reach the level of the top three physiques. The teacher who previously spoke continued to explain the participants of this trial. As a matter of fact, number 8, 9, and 10 physiques are all from the lower realm. The number 9 physique is called the origin spirit physique. The owner of such a body has a very high affinity with spiritual energy between heaven and earth, thus having a very rapid speed of cultivation. Furthermore, they will not have any bottlenecks in cultivation until they reach the void shattered realm no to mention their near unlimited amount of origin essence in their divine sea. The tenth heavenly physique is called Star Monarch Physique, which grants them the ability to cultivate the power of the stars. The teachers did not underestimate any of these people because of their background. Given the fact that these people were actually born with such powerful physiques in the lower realm, then they are probably the child of destiny of their world. As long as they are given the chance or opportunity to rise, they will immediately take it, and that opportunity was exactly this trial. So, none of you will mention the damn Mo family descendant, suddenly said a teacher with gritted teeth. The room then became silent, as all the teachers, including headmaster Bai Han, 
had a somber look on his face. Chapter 218. Mo Xingyun. While all the teachers were quiet and somber, their eyes could not remove from one particular participant that actually took part in the elimination round. It was a beautiful woman with red hair and eyes. However, unlike Su Ya's red hair that was lighter than a rose, her redness was darker than blood, and it was not just her hair. She even wore a red hanfu and had a bloody aura surrounding her. In this aura, anyone could see the scream of all the people she had killed, and there were many of them, too many to count. Although she had a beautiful face, there was a permanent evil smirk on the corner of her mouth, which made her both very attractive and scare at the same time. This participant was called Mo Xingyun, and she was the descendant of the Mo family. After a brief silence in the academy's booth, one teacher then responded, According to the rules, she has every right to participate in the tournament. The person who previously spoke against M.I. Xingyun then said back, It is obvious that she has awakened the heaven-devouring physiques, aren't any of you worried that she will follow in her ancestor's footsteps? The room once again became silent, and this time, many people actually had an ugly look on their faces as they remembered something unpleasant. One teacher then said after a brief hesitation, This generation, there is a high chance that an eternal emperor will be born, and if she manages to be the final winner, then the Mo family will have two eternal emperors in their lineage just like the Dao opening sect. Shut up, screamed one teacher. In the last era, there was only one eternal emperor, and it was the founder of our academy, Emperor Kong. This time the mood of most of the teachers was disturbed after hearing this, as this involved the biggest secrets of the academy. In the last era, there were two eternal emperors, which was the first such a thing to happen in the myriad emperor world since the ancient emperor era. One of them was Emperor Kong, while the other was from the Mo family, and he was called the Heaven Devour Emperor. The Heaven Devour Emperor was a nightmare for all living beings in this world. As a devil cultivator who only cared about pursuing power and strength, adding on top of that being an eternal emperor, the highest echelon among great emperors, he was a disaster to the world. After proving the Tao, he did not preach to the world or make any contribution. As a matter of fact, he did not try to help his clan or conquer the world. Instead, he did only one thing, try to swallow the world. To be precise, swallow the source of the world. As a person who cultivated the Tao of Devour, he followed the path of swallowing everything between heaven and earth. And the source of the world was the highest form of energy existing in the endless void. It is the thing that determines the grade of a world. For example, after swallowing most of the world source of the myriad emperor world, the entire world entered the age of Tao End. This age took place between the Middle Emperor Era and the New Emperor Era. For more than 100 generations, a couple hundred million of years, there was no heaven will, hence to no immortality in this world. During that period of time, the highest level of cultivation that cultivators can reach was actually the Supreme Realm. And even then, that was extremely difficult as only a few talented ones could do so. Since there was no heaven will, there was no great emperor. Since there was no great emperor, there was no immortal venerable or Tao ancestor. During that age of despair, many cultivators tried to find an alternate way to immortality, but they all failed. In the end, many of them were forced to leave for another world community in an attempt to fight for the heaven will battle there. However, no one ever returned, even as a great emperor. Other people sealed themselves in bloodstones in order to wake up in another generation when the heaven will appeared again. At that time, Many people did not know whether the world would ever recover and whether the heaven will would appear again. As for the heaven devour emperor, the only reason that he did not completely destroy the world was because of the intervention of heavenly Tao. At first, it used divine punishment thunder, but it was no use to a powerful eternal emperor. Then, both the human preservation array and the demon preservation array were activated by both heavenly Tao and all the sleeping immortal venerable and Tao ancestors, but it was also no use. Many other methods were used to no avail. In the end, Heavenly Tao asked all the emperor lineages in the world permission to use their emperor formations and artifacts. By combining them together, Heavenly Tao was able to exile the heaven-devouring emperor from the endless void. This guy was so powerful that he could only be exiled somewhere where he could not come back. Although most people did not know where he was exiled to, they were lucky that he never returned. As for the reason that the Emperor Enlightening Academy has such animosity against his descendants was because they suffered the most during that experience. For once, the Heaven Devour Emperor was actually a member of the Academy. 
despite being a member of the Mo family. Due to some complications, he was not appreciated by the family in his early years, so he joined the academy in his early years. Although later on he was reconciled with the Mo family after becoming powerful, many people still believe that he was a member of the academy. At one point, he was even considered a candidate to be the headmaster. However, the heaven devouring emperor was a true devil cultivator, so he did not care about the fact that the academy took him in when he was at his lowest. He knew that with his background, the chances of him becoming the headmaster was very slim. On the other hand, all he needed was to be powerful in order to become the patriarch of the Mo family, hence getting access to all their resources. So, he left without much hesitation. However, it was not proven how cold heart this guy was until he proved the Tao and became an emperor. At that time, the de facto leader of the entire world and the resistance against him was the academy instead of the Tao opening sect. At that time, the era was still called the Academy Enlightening Era, and there were many rumors that the Tao opening was cursed and would not produce any emperors ever again in their lifetimes. Adding to that, the patriarch of that time, which was from the Yan family, was a very cautious woman, so she decided to be very low-key. A wise decision that actually preserved the strength of the sect. As for the Academy, during their battle against the Heaven Devour Emperor, they suffered such a great loss that their foundations were almost destroyed. As a matter of fact, the academy was almost destroyed at the hand of the emperor. Luckily for them, they managed to exile him with the aid of Heavenly Tao, and were rewarded a great deal of qi luck that allowed them to survive the age of Tao end and recuperate during the early stage of the new emperor era. In the aftermath of what occurred, the academy in many places in the world, many people refused to acknowledge the heaven devour emperor's status as an eternal emperor. Even though their acknowledgement meant nothing, the position of eternal emperor is not something that a bunch of mortals can decide. In the eyes of great emperors, even a supreme realm true monarch is nothing but a mortal that can live for a few millions years. They themselves did not have the right to decide whether a person was an eternal emperor, let alone these weak cultivators that will eventually die with the passage of time. Heck, even heavenly Tao cannot decide such a thing. After a teacher scolded the person that said the previous words, headmaster Bai Han finally spoke. You guys know that this topic is a taboo in the academy, so do not mention it again. As for Mo Xingyun, even if she has the heaven devour physique, without the proper scriptures, she is not much of a threat as her ancestor. Not to mention that this generation is full of heaven defying genius. All the teachers nodded after sighing melancholy to themselves, then they did not say another words. As a matter of fact, the true secret of the academy was not what the heaven devour emperor did to them. No. The whole world already knew of this history. The true secret revolved around the fact that there were two eternal emperors in the last era. As a matter of fact, Emperor Kong was not a true eternal, but a false one. The reason that he is considered a false eternal emperor was because he was so close to reaching that level, that echelon, but he did not succeed, at least not on his own. Due to all his contributions he made to the myriad emperor world, he was given a little help or boost to reach the level of an eternal emperor by heavenly Tao through merits. A few eternal emperors refused to accept Emperor Kong as their own, while the others did not really care. As for other great emperors, they did not dare to say anything in front of him as his strength was a real eternal emperor. As for the academy, only the truly trusted teachers were privy to this information, and they were sworn to so many oaths and binding contracts never to reveal such a secret. Otherwise a fate worse than death awaits them. And of course, Headmaster Bai Han is the person who has the most knowledge regarding this topic as he is Emperor Kong's own son, making him an emperor offspring. Chapter 219. The Elimination Rounds Begin. Headmaster Bai Han was born in the Middle Emperor era and his father was Emperor Kong. So, his real name is Kong Han and he witnessed the creation of the academy. However, all his life, he lived in the shadow of his father. Many people started comparing him with his father. No matter what he achieved, it was either not good enough, or people attributed it to the fact that he was Emperor Kong, son. So, his relationship with his father was not good to begin with. Nevertheless, it was still expected by everybody for Bai Han to be the next great emperor of the academy after his father washed away his karma for him. However, things escalated when his mother died, and his father did nothing to either prevent it or bring her back. To this day, Bai Han still remembers the indifferent look his father had on his face when he said to him, You do not need to make a fuss about everything. She is not dead, but just entered samsara. 
Bai Han cursed at his father for being cruel and indifferent, before leaving home forever and never spoke to him ever again. He took his mother's last name and only returned to the academy once his father left. As a matter of fact, Emperor Kong was not being cold or indifferent. As a great emperor, he is a higher dimensional life form and sees things differently from mortal cultivators. All of them see death as the end of the road, while he sees it as another beginning. He could literally see his wife enter samsara and he could even go see her new reincarnation if he wanted to. He could awaken her memories from her last life. At the same time, he also knew that without becoming a great emperor, Tao ancestor or immortal venerable, she would never escape the shackles of constant reincarnation. As for the reason that Emperor Kong did not help his wife achieve the cultivation realm of the latter two, it was because she wanted to have another chance to become an emperor after reincarnation, so he arranged for her to be born in another heaven will world. Unfortunately, due to lack of communication, his son misunderstood him and ran away from home. After wandering around the world for many years, he returned to the Emperor Enlightening Academy, as he felt that it was the home that his mother helped create. Bai Han desperately needed to become a great emperor in order to revive his mother. However, since he did not let his father wash away his karma, he could not compete in the next heaven will battle. So, he sealed himself in bloodstone for countless years before he was awakening in the last generation. However, he could not get past the mental barrier that he was the son of Emperor Kong. So, he used a secret technique to have a woman carry him. He abandoned his body, his powerful bloodline, and his cultivation and turned into a baby. Essentially, he was reborn anew, with all his memories. This was the reason that he could talk as soon as he was born, and the academy believed him to be a born sage. And Bai Han lived to these expectations. With him being personally tutored by an eternal emperor, he could easily guide other people in their cultivation. With knowledge of ancient time and a vision from once being a supreme realm true monarchs, he rapidly grew among the ranks of the academy until he became the headmaster. Unfortunately for Bai Han, he was very unlucky. First, he met a heaven-defying genius like Wang Tian, and lost to him. Even his previous cultivation and profound knowledge could not help him. Then, he learned that not only would there not be a heaven will in his generation, but even the supreme path was cut off in order to make way for the next generation. Bai Han spent many hours lamenting on how terrible and unfair heaven was to him. And he also often regretted not accepting his father's help and let him wash away his karma. By then, he should have already proven the Tao and resurrected his mother. After all that happened to him, Bai Han considered whether to seal himself again, but he did not want to. Being sealed is not a fun experience that anyone can withstand. Especially the people that have to live through countless generations. There are two types of seal. One for people who are about to die and want to lend their strength to their sect or faction one last time in the future. These people are completely sealed, and once they wake up, they know that they will not survive long. As for the people who want to wake up in another generation in order to wash away their karma, they have to keep a silver of their consciousness alive in order to experience the baptizement of time in order to properly wash away their karma. And the process is a form of torture. They have to spend what feels like eons in a dark, empty, and silent place with only their thoughts, and nothing else. The process is similar to the second trial in the pagoda, but instead of spending only a hundred years, these people have to spend millions upon millions of years. The majority of them go crazy in the process, some awake ahead of time and allow their lifespan to naturally and die. Only a few can actually wait till the process is over. Bai Han did not want to go through that process again. His Tao heart was not enough for him to suffer through that lonely process for a second time. This is the reason that he is so focused on properly cultivating Lin Fan. He hoped that once Lin Fan became a great emperor, he could wash away his karma for him, and compete for the next generation's heaven will battle. While the teachers of the academy were having their little disagreement, the elimination round of the tournament had already begun. Mo Xingyun was teleported to a random location inside the secret realm. Around her were a few slaughter devil beasts lying on the floor. Although these beasts were dead, there was no blood or wound on them. They looked like dried mummies that were sucked dry of all their blood and internal organs. Well, that is exactly what happened to them. She looked in the distance while secretly thinking to herself. Without the gluttony swallowing scripture, my heaven devour physique will never reach the level of the ancestor. However, I have an advantage over him, and that is that I was born in a very prosperous era. All the top ten heavenly physique showed up all at once. 
The number of times this kind of thing happened in the history of the myriad emperor world can be counted in one hand, not to mention that even new physiques appear. If I can swallow all of them, then my power can reach a level even beyond my ancestor in his youth, prove the Tao and become an eternal emperor. However, these guys at the top are not so easy to mess with, so let's begin with the bottom three physiques. With the Mo family backing me, it should not be much of a problem if I swallow these guys from the lower realm, however the one from the worshipping Tao Academy might be a slight problem. Tisk. When did I as a devil cultivator actually care about other sex response? I'll just openly swallow these guys. They cannot blame me if they are so weak. Furthermore, as long as I have a spot in the top 30 of this tournament, I will be problem free until the primordial spirit realm. After thinking about this, Mo Xingyun then rushed in a certain direction, tracking her prey. She will not give them the opportunity to rise in this tournament. Meanwhile, in another direction far from Mo Xingyun, a young cultivator from a holy land was slowly heading in one particular direction. If anyone were to observe him closely, they would find out that he had a numb look in his eyes. It was like he was a puppet being controlled by someone, like he had no will of his own. Inside this poor man's sea of consciousness, a vague shadow was suppressing his soul and controlling his body. The shadow looked in the direction that the body was headed as it muttered to itself. I have finally found the owner of the heaven devour physique. With her help, my plans can finally come to fruition. I have been waiting too long for this day. Chapter 220. True Partnership. After leaving the arena where the competition took place, Wang Wei and Wu Hong returned to his residence. After activating the formation to prevent anyone from spying, Wang Wei took out something from his space ring. It was actually the room that housed the Divine Punishment Thunder. It was previously located somewhere under the Dao opening sect, but before leaving for his trip, Wang Wei had true monarch Yan Chen create a small world where he can place the thunder and carry it inside his space ring. After entering the small room, both Wang Wei and Wu Hong found themselves in front of a lake with black liquid inside. Countless lightning and thunder strikes could be seen flashing once in a while on top of the lake. There should be no problem, no? Asked Wang Wei. Wu Hong looked at the river for a brief moment before nodding. Wang Wei then immediately removed his sacred sun garment and stood inside the room with only his underwear. His very well-defined and beautiful muscles were exposed to the world. He started to do some poses to show them off. However, every time he contracted his muscles, the sound of steel grinding could be heard coming from his body. Every time he clenched his hand, the sound of the air breaking could be heard. His vitality and blood was so exuberant that the temperature around could be raised by him just by the blood flowing throughout his body. Meanwhile, Wu Hong looked at Wang Wei's poses with a calm look on her face. However, a deep sense of speechlessness could be seen in her eyes as she knew that he did that on purpose. Don't you have any shame? Getting naked in front of a lady you just met less than a week ago? Hum. If I do not remove my clothes, how are we supposed to properly do this kind of thing? Replied Wang Wei with a look of innocence in his face, despite the fact that his words were purposely vague and ambiguous. Wu Hong sighed helplessly, however she had a slight smile on her face, it was as if she was very amused. All right, let's begin, she ordered sternly. Wang Wei nodded before sitting cross-legged in front of the lake. Suddenly, Wu Hong's eyes lit up white, then with a wave of her hand, countless runes appeared in the room. There were four of them and were circular in shape. Then, with a wave of her other hand, all the black water or divine punishment thunder in the lake floated into the air. The four runes surrounded the water in the shape of a box. Wu Hong clenched her white and smooth hand, then the black thunder started to condense and decrease in both size and volume. Meanwhile, Wang Wei was watching the entire process in awe. He did not feel any aura from Wu Hong, nor did he understand the meaning of these runes that she made. Forget understanding them, he did not even recognize them. It was then that Wang Wei realized how little does he truly know about the world and how powerful his future girlfriend is. A few minutes later, the divine punishment thunder was turned into the size of a first surrounded by a sphere made of runes, and it was floating in the palm of Wu Hong. She then looked at Wang Wei, now, I will seal it on your spine, that way it becomes much harder to intervene with your internal organs. The power of this thunder will slowly release in order to temper your body and you can determine the level of power that is released, but don't go overboard and do not release that power in your internal organs until you properly tempered them. 
Wang Wei smiled before nodding. So, Wu Hong did what she said and sealed it inside his spine. As soon the little orb entered his body, Wang Wei groaned as he felt a mysterious power starting to ravage all of his bones. Soon after, his already tempered to great perfect bones started to crack. In just a few seconds, all 206 of his bones were cracked to the point of almost being destroyed. However, his regeneration ability kicked in and his bones were back to normal. Unfortunately for Wang Wei, this process did stop after only one time, but a few hundred thousand times. In just a few hours, he experienced his bones being repeatedly cracked and repaired. The worst part was that the pain was even more severe when he used heavenly tribulation to temper his body. Half a day later, the process stopped as his bones were no longer cracking, however Wang Wei had an ugly look on his face. The power he was using to temper his body was not even one billionth of the divine punishment thunder, yet it had such power. After taking a deep breath to calm himself down, he started the process again. This time it was his skin that went through that torture. So, he spent another half day feeling the pain of his skin being ruptured and being repaired again and again. Meanwhile, Wu Hong was looking at all of this with a calm look on her face. She knew what it took to become a true powerhouse, so she did not help him, not even to remove his pain. She knew that if Wang Wei could not bear such little suffering, then his chances of becoming a great emperor would be close to zero. As for their relationship, unfortunately, without becoming a great emperor, she will have to witness him entering the cycle of samsara again and again until he finds a way to reach immortality. It is just like Wang Wei said during the true dragon in meeting. As a future companion, he has to be able to pull his weight in the relationship, otherwise he would become a burden that Wu Hong has to carry by herself. Although Wu Hong would not mind such a thing, she knew that Wang Wei's pride would never allow him to become a burden to her. So, she did not try to appease him as she knew that he did not need it, she knew that he had the will and spirit to do what it takes to reach the top, and accompany her along the way for eternity. If they want to establish a true companionship, then they have to have similar status, strength, and starting line. Meanwhile, after finishing re-tempering his skin, Wang Wei then directed the black thunder to his muscles. However, this time he dramatically reduced the power. His muscles have not been tempered to great perfection yet, so he did not want to take any risks. After doing that, Wang Wei stood up from the ground, clenched his hand, then threw a punch. Boom! A powerful explosion ringed out in the room, following which, a space crack appeared where his fist landed. However, after a few seconds, the space crack closed and everything returned to normal. Wang Wei knew that this space crack represented that his fleshly body had reached the strength of the void shattering realm. Even if it was the lowest level of that realm, his fist could break the power of law. However, he was not that happy. Well, to be precise, he was thinking about something completely weird. He realized that the reason that it took him so long to create a method to refine the divine thunder punishment was because it was involved around the power of law. To be precise, it involved Dao Law according to Wu Hong. Wang Wei can deduce that Dao Law was probably the law controlled by great emperors based on his knowledge in all the cultivating realms. However, here comes the issue. How can his future wife easily seal such a power? Wang Wei has always known that Wu Hong was powerful, but he did not expect her to be so powerful. However, he did not really care about such a thing as he himself will reach such level and beyond eventually. What he really cared about was his future sex life. When in the future, he and Wu Hong get intimate, wouldn't he have to be at the bottom? Without the proper strength, he can imagine that with Wu Hong's personality, she will really make him the bottom without hesitation. Well, as a modern person, he does not really care about this, but he still has his macho side and would like to be on top. Wang Wei sighed as he realized that for a great while, his sex life will be quite miserable. Until he has the strength that is. Then, he will take his revenge. Hopefully. You were thinking weird again, weren't you? Suddenly asked Wu Hong with a smirk on her face. I do not know what you were talking about, replied Wang Wei calmly while putting his clothes on. Wu Hong smiled before walking up to him. She then caressed his gray hair slowly before saying, Don't worry, I will take your ego into account and let you be on top once in a while. Wang Wei had a shocked look on his face as his eyes bulged and his mouth opened wide. He was genuinely shocked. Then, he backed away from her with vigilance. Can you read my mind? You do not have to worry about that, replied Wu Hong calmly. Wang Wei still had the vigilance on his face. 
although he could accept her being more powerful than him, more knowledgeable and even have many secrets, but he will never accept if she could read his mind. Wu Hong noticed the vigilance in his eyes, but she did not mind as he knew him better than himself. You do not need to worry. With your soul, no one can read your mind without you even knowing. Not even me. Wang Wei nodded as he realized that he may have been a little too sensitive. However, an idea suddenly appeared in his mind and he asked. Do you know about my soul? About paragons? Wu Hong pondered for a brief moment before responding. Well, 